We've all marveled at the wonders of neon lights. And they have made Vegas, Vegas, and Broadway, Broadway. But have you ever wondered about how they actually work? Tom Wortman from Neon Works in Cincinnati shows us that it all starts with a glass tube and a drawing. Let's say I'll make the letter H. Like I'm going to just figure out uh, how much length I need here. OK, I'll make my first bend right here. I'm, gonna, I'm heating up the glass. Uh, it'll get very soft, and then I'll bend it. The temperature it's going to be heated up to is about 1,500 degrees. OK. Tool right here. Okay. So that's my first bend. I'm getting I'm getting set up to make the cross part of the H here. My next bend will be the horizontal stroke of the H. All right. Okay. You notice uh, each time I make a bend before I take it over to the table, I blow into the end of the tube. And uh, the reason for that is when I make, when I bend this soft tube, it gets thin and kind of collapses and I need to blow out so it has a nice, nice diameter to it. That, so the diameter through the, through the bend is consistent with the straight part of the tube. That's why we blow in to the end. Okay. So my next bends on the H are going to be to, to go over toward the, the next letter that way and that way. After all the letters are blown and fused together, it is time to give them light. And this indeed will take some science. Our light master is Greg Pond. I've got my argon gas, my blue argon gas, and my red neon gas right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up and we're going to create a vacuum tube, but we're also going to purify this tube. This, what I've got here is a clear glass, but it has a fluorescent powder inside. And a lot of times when you see a fluorescent powder, that tells you that it's got argon gas inside, which is a bluish color gas. And argon is kind of a dull lavender on its own. It can't really compete with the brightness of the neon. So what we do is we add a little drop of mercury in here. And I'm going to use my mercury injector. And I'm just going to put a little drop of mercury in there. And the purpose of this mercury, after I finish this process, the mercury will be dropped into that tube. And the heat generated from the, from the electrodes will cause that mercury to vaporize. And when it vaporizes, that will uh, brighten up the tube. So I've got, I'm hooked up to my manifold here with a compression fitting. And I'm going to open up my valve to my vacuum pump. OK, so now I want to hook up my wires. In a, in a neon sign or a sign that has argon in it, um, the tubes run maybe 100 degrees, maybe 110 degrees, and you can, you can touch them, and they're, they're not hot to the touch. Um, we're going to put air inside this tube. And when air gets elect electrical current going through it, it gets really hot. And we're going to use that heat to our advantage to burn off those impurities that I was talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little drop of, just a little swallow of air in there. So what you see in there lighting up is just air. And the tube, the finished tube, is going to be white, pretty much like what you see. And you might ask why we don't just leave air in there. And uh, you know one reason, because you know that air gets really hot. And we don't want that. We don't want to have a nice, cool burning tube. And that's one of the things that gives it its long life. We're going to get this up to about 500 degrees, and we're going to finish off those electrodes. We, we need to uh, burn off the emission coating that's on there. All right, I think we're right about there. I'm just putting a 
tiny amount of argon in there. And then I use my hand torch to seal off this little tubulation. Now comes the big test. We'll take it over to our test bench. So, all right, it worked. You can see how dim this is already in through here. And that's the color, natural color of, of, of the uh, argon. It's kind of a dull lavender color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this mercury in there, shake it through the effect of the mercury. You can see how bright it is already, how much brighter. You see it's down in the A now. You know, another five minutes or so, and that'll be nice even color, and we'll have a sign ready to go on the Hasty Tasty sign up in Dayton. And now you know the secret to these wonderful beacons that have brightened our lives for over a century. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.